We've gathered here today to participate in the form ceremony of installation to the office of Mayor Honorable Adam Schneider and the City Council of the great city of Long Branch. Please join in as we pray together. We pray to the Almighty God, Father of all mankind, bestow you the fine blessings upon our distinguished leaders and their families. May the Almighty God give them the wisdom to know what's right and good, and the strength and the courage to meet all challenges and to lead the city along the path of justice and compassion. May the devotion and loyalty be an inspiration to us and to all our fellow Americans. Let this assembly stimulate us to be mindful of our responsibilities and duties as concerned citizens of this great republic. May our city serve as a beacon of light for all people of all faith. As the Grand Chabad Rabbi, who is today we commemorate 20 years since his passing, emphasized, the role of government is to balance communal and individual benefits. And this is only possible when society is governed by the principles of morality, justice, law and order, under one God. Hasten the fulfillment of the vision of our prophets, when the work of the righteousness shall be peace, and its effect tranquility and security forever. When nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Let me conclude with the priestly blessings from the Holy Bible. May the Lord bless you and guard you. May the Lord May his countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his countenance towards you and grant you peace. And let us all say, Amen. 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 Thank you. Next, I'd like to call up Michael Winnick, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And I ask that you all remain standing for Rabbi Greenberg, who will sing the National Anthem. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm sorry, Jake. Jake Jones will be singing the National Anthem. <laughs> 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 oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through 
states. In the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. In the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments. And to the governments. Established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties of councilmen. All the duties of councilmen. For the city of Long Branch. For the city of Long Branch. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me out. So help me out. Thank you. 
Jersey, the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, to the same, and to the government, and to the government established in the United States, established in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, and that I will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties of councilwoman, all the duties of councilwoman for the city of Long Branch, for the city of Long Branch, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, so help me God, so help me God. seek the ways of righteousness, justice, and mercy. Grant that they may be enabled by your powerful protection to lead this community with honesty, integrity. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Tell from the results we were okay, but it was still stressful. 
And I contemplated my own political mortality because someday it will, my political career will come to an end. But it ain't now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not so sure it's going to be any time soon. <laughs> and if there is a message to be sent, and if there was a message sent that day, there's a couple of them. One of which is, we won. Yeah. And we won by double figures, which isn't so bad. And as a candidate, and those of you out there who are running or are thinking about running, you'll take a double digit win. Second, I have to do better. That result was fine, but I have to do better. I have to get a staff that works better. I've got, to, I've got to get voters who four years from now come out to the polls. 18% wasn't enough. And that's on me. That was what I took that night. That as hard as we've worked, as much as we've got, gotten accomplished, the next four years have to be better. Four years ago, I stood here and said, I'll keep doing this job as long as I love it. I'll also keep doing it as long as the people want me to. And I'm going to promise that in the next four years, that all of us involved in city government will do better. Can't promise that there won't be another major storm that's going to be a bit of a distraction. I can't promise that I'm not going to have to spend an awful lot of time worrying about rebuilding a boardwalk. I can't promise that I'm not going to have to make sure um, that everybody's in one piece and we have electricity. But I can tell you that we will show dedication effort and energy in doing our jobs. And we'll show it in a way that inspires more than 18% of the people to come out and vote in four years. To my running mates, fellow public servants, it's been great working with them. Um, Mike brings the comedy team with him. <laughs> and the fire chief, who's the only one along with his son who has hair. <laughs> I don't know if you saw these guys at the LaBuddy dinner where they did stand-up comedy and had a picture where they looked like the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> to Kate, who after a career as an administrator in the public school system, continues to work. Um, you know, she works part-time for her sister in the accounting office and full-time as a councilwoman here. Um, Joy, who brings um, uncommon passion, um, who has been a community leader long before she held office. Um, John and I promised that we were going to work together um, and dedicate ourselves to the betterment of the city. Um, the only thing is we made that promise 24 years ago. It took us a while to accomplish it. <laughs> but we've done that. Um, those of you who have been here, come to the meetings, work with any of us, know that um, in the last four years, um, and I'm, I'm very happy about this, it means something to me, uh, we've worked very, very well together, we've become friends, um, which wasn't necessarily the case 20 plus years ago. But working together has been a very, very positive um, experience for me, I hope for him, and certainly for the city. I've served 20 years with Mary Jane Selly. Um, it's been outstanding. Um, nobody shows up at more events. Um, nobody brings more effort to what she does than she does. She still continues to set an example for all of us. Um, she may not drive quite as much as she used to, but she gets to just as many places as she ever did. Um, they're going to be a great four years coming up. I mean, Exactly what I said. We're going to do better the next four years than we did the last. Um, that's a warning to the staff, to me, to everybody. Um, we have, this is the four years, and here's the promise. This is the four years we're going to get stuff done. Um, what you've seen up till now, we've done pretty good. We're going to do even better. Thank you.
afternoon, and thank you all for being here. I just want to say that I'm really honored to be here today, and I thank you and the residents of Long Ranch for the opportunity to serve on the City Council again for another four years. I love working with Mayor Schneider and with all the members of the Council. I've learned a lot from each of them. They work hard, care about people, and only want the best for our city. I'm very proud to be part of this team. Thank you again to my family, to everyone here for sharing this day with us. Thanks. <laughs> and it really is nice to see the room so full. I do accept the office of councilwoman and I'm very proud of that. First of all, I'd like to thank my family and all my friends in the room for the continued confidence that you've placed in me the last 20 years and I'll do the best I can for the next four. Second of all, I'd like to thank all the residents, whether you voted for me or for the team, it makes no difference. At least you went out and you voted. Third of all, to all the city workers, thank you for the job that you do, and you make us look good. And I would like to thank my colleagues in the inner city administration, to the mayor, and to all my councilmates. It's a pleasure to work again with them for four years, and thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. say, but um, thank you for being here. And four years ago when I stood here and I took the oath and I accepted this position, I took it very seriously, but I was more of a spectator looking in. I didn't really know what the commitment was, what the cost would be to my, to my family, the strain on my relationships. I had no idea what the time commitment would really be. I could only assume what the job would be like. I could only assume what it would be like to work with the mayor and my council. And at one point, I, I, I gave my uh, councilman De Stefano a phone call when I was considering running. And I said, Mike, is he here, by the way? I think I saw him. No. I said, Mike. How much time does this job take? <laughs> and I said, well, you know, you have a couple of meetings a month. You have that. And then you study anywhere from two to five hours for each meeting. And that's about it. <laughs> so uh, four years later, uh, only um, my Italian grandmother could express it best to Mike. I know he's not here, but I want to say Maquette. Oh, my God. <laughs> Four years later, I have a better idea. I stand here a little more somber, taking this. And yet, I'm also here more joyous, because I realize what an honor it is to serve this great, the people of this great city. And I can also say firsthand how wonderful it is to work with Mayor Schneider and with each member of the council. They really are passionate about Long Branch. We share that. They're hardworking. They're genuine. And it's, it's an honor to work with them. It's also a privilege to work with the administration and the, and the employees of this city. Who, who really care about this town and are working to make it better. I'm thankful for them. And that's probably one of my favorite parts of the, of the job, is just getting to work with so many great people. 
A new acquaintance recently said to me, you don't seem like I would have never get, guessed you as a politician. And I said, well, I try to focus on being a public servant because I know how to serve. And that's what I'm here for. We're here to serve the people of this town. And that's what I know how to do. And I'm thankful for this opportunity. I accept this position today. And I want to say thank you especially to my husband and my family for their support and for being here. And uh, thank you again for, for allowing me to take this position and to serve and for the voters that put their confidence in me. Thank you. Um, for placing their confidence in me, um, culminating in my re-election. I'd also like to thank uh, the department heads of the city. And the reason I'd like to thank them is they have been so responsive and they are so patient when we have questions or concerns about issues that are taking place in the city. They have been a wonderful link to the day-to-day -day that goes on in the city. I also want to thank all the city employees who if it wasn't for them, the daily chores that are done, this city would not run as smoothly as it, done, as it does. And I look forward to serving with all of you for another four years. Last but not least, I have to thank my family and friends for their support, their encouragement, and their love. For those of you that didn't know, I lost my house in Sandy. So my family and my friends have been with me through the good times like this, but they were also with me during that. And I love you all, and thank you. said was just going to get up and say thank you and goodbye. But, <laughs> but the mayor brought up my, com uh, my comedy relief. So at first I would like to say, Mom, I, I think back to a time when Dad was with us and he was so proud. There was another election, a special election, quite a few years ago and I, I was running in it and he turned around and said, I have two sons, a priest, a fireman, and now a politician. And Sam, you know him as Monsignor Sam, but Sam uh, said, oh, if we lived in Boston, we would be Irish. <laughs> <laughs> so for the next four years, it's O Siriani. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for the past four years. It has been a learning experience. It has been a great experience to get to know people in the city, the, the departments here, the way the city works, the way the city operates, and working together with the mayor and my fellow council members. I look forward to the next four years. I thank you for the, giving me the chance for the next four years. I look forward in the next four years to serve you. We grew up in the hospitality industry. We, I was nine years old behind a bar waiting on tables. There's a lot of similarities between would you like coffee and dessert or how can I fix your street? What's wrong with the sewer? What's wrong with this, that, the other thing in your neighborhood? They run hand in hand. It's all a service. And my father instilled that in us. I look at my brothers, from my brother Joseph, who's the fire chief, to my brothers Sam and Anthony, who are priests at the parish. We're here to serve. That's our lot in life and I accept it, and I look forward to working with you the next four years. Thank you very much. I wasn't gonna say this, but keep it a secret. Don't tell the department heads this. I came in and I noticed that the temperature was a little bit off in the room. I'm also at as of today, I'm council president. 
and I've already instructed the, count, the city clerk to please at our next agenda meeting, we are going to talk about the air conditioning units. In the <laughs> so department heads, please look around. I know Ron's here. I know the answer. It's in the electric account. So hopefully the next time we gather on a good or bad, whatever it is, it'll be nice and comfortable. So we actually have a chance to be out by 5 o'clock and go start to celebrate, right? Except for I'm up here. No. As before we go to celebrate, I, and before we I pray as, as we leave and, and go to enjoy um, the beginning of, a, of, a, of another great four years here in Long Branch, my thoughts are, um, are about this Mary Council and they know as well as I do, and, and many of you who have leadership positions, that in our, in our society, leadership is, is kind of a love-hate thing. Um, we, all have, uh, we, all, we all can find all the faults in our leaders, and yet we, we need them terribly. We, 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 are, we are in a place where when, when a true leader and someone who's willing to stand up and, and lead in any, any kind of uh, capacity, we're very fortunate people. And there's many people that are cynical in our society, and they look at leaders, they, whether they're in, in politics or in industry or, or in, in religious organizations like myself, uh, there's, that, there's that edge of cynicism that people are just after the role so that they can have power and whatever. But it's been spoken so well today, both by the council and the mayor himself, and by those who've come up and made comments. Leadership is about service. And I, I am proud to be a citizen of Long Branch because we have a leadership that believes in serving, that is available to us when we can call out to them. And if there is any way they can get something done for us, they get it done for us. They don't work miracles. Heck, I don't even work miracles. <laughs> but, but you know their heart's in it. When Adam got up today and, and, and made a vow, made a promise to work even harder and not just ride on, on these years of success, it reminded me once again, they understand what true leadership is. So as we go from this place to celebrate uh, another four years to celebrate your election and to celebrate as we move forward, let, uh, my prayer is that God's blessing would be upon you, that you would lead beyond even the abilities you think you have. Father, as we go from this place, we do thank you and bless you for these men and women. We thank you for their efforts of service. We thank you for their dedication to this city and to the people in this city. We thank you that they, they're willing to wrestle with the difficult things, with disagreements. They're willing to find a way to talk their way through these things, find a way to make things work for, for this city. And we ask that your blessing would be upon them, upon the the whole city of Long Branch, as we continue to rebuild from the storm, as we continue to reach for our future together. We ask that now, in your wonderful name we pray. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the sermon ceremony this afternoon. On behalf of the mayor and council, I'd like to thank you all for coming, and they would like to invite you all to continue in the celebration on the promenade of the Thank you.